Here's the preparation for the boss. We have all these items, the healing items, the the fruit bandages. Boom, boom. Next thing we have is a weapon upgrade. Upgraded the steel bars. Diamond. And with these steel bars, we can upgrade our weapon to a great sword. Unequipped? I don't care. And we also have potions. You guys remember these potions? We got found in that sus, found in that Drake, and the UR. Let's go get those. Here's the first fountain. Here's our number two. Energy potion, not bad. Number three. Now I know this one for sure is a healing potion. And then we can also make some heavy armor, chainmail. We can equip the chainmail. We take all of our necessary food and healing items. We have our necessary potions. We have our new weapon. We also have all these spells. Okay, now there's, there's an actuality. Guys, I'm serious. There's no way we can lose. All right, now that we have that out of the way, we're gonna actually go and try to defeat the Runes of Light 3 boss. I'm gonna take the time to say that after the boss fight, I'll show you guys how I got to date 93, so where I currently am, and the process through the dense jungle. Here we are at the unknown ruins for Runes of Light 3. Now let me speed run this and get to the actual boss. I think this should be fine, although we're low on hunger and we're malnourished. <laughs> Oh no. Well, I'm already here and I have like 10 potions. We're at the boss door. Let's go. Pop a fire pit. Get down here. Now, this is where we can flash strike. Hit. Flash strike again. Eat the drink potion. Flash strike. What? What? Let me flash strike already. Flash strike. No. My mic really cut out? I swear to God. Yes. Yes. Yeah. There you have it. Beating death with ease. Now let's see where this leads us. Yes, we're here. Runes of light. Let's go. Did you hear how Scott? Now on to the process part. Hey, now you're on the process. This is everything leading to the dance jungle. First things we're going to do is talk about the weaver. Now, last episode, I said the weaver can turn hemp into linen which lining can be made into clothes, which is good for the dense jungle because clothes like the shabby clothes give you coolness, which is very advantageous for the dense jungle because it's hot, like really hot. And the only way to get hemp is to farm. Most of this is literally just farming. It's kind of dumb. This is a good time to say that since last episode, uh, I saved, but there was a bug with it. So I had to restart to get to the Runes of Light 2. So that's why it might look different. Like you can see, I have a different piece of armor. I have Flash Strike now instead of Poison Thorn. So yeah, some things might be different, but I got myself to the same place like last episode. Finally got a hemp. Wow, that took so long to get a single hemp. Thank you. Guys, that was my first hemp after 30 minutes of recording. Oh yeah, I also did this cave in the background. Hello, goat. There's honestly not much to it. When you get to prepare for Runes of Light 3, you basically just farm the hell out of him. Someone in the chat asks, how do you survive until 100 days to try to find food? Well, it's a coincidence that I'm suffering from food right now as well. Well, the main source of food is just killing animals and uh, you wait for them to drop meat. And that's where the luck can play in the game. But honestly, other than that, you either have the mission tab, which I'm using right now. Or if you're lucky and you have a, there's a food merchant and you can get unlimited food just by cutting trees. So I actually don't even know any other way to get food. That's it. Luck has a huge factor in this game. All right, so far I have four hemp. God, give me more please. Oh my God, good thing I have TP. Bye. Okay, I literally got four hemp out of like two zones. Another source of food you can get is from farming. After you unlock Ruins of Light 2, you get you can make the bathroom, and then the bathroom can lead you getting a garden. Oh, actually, let me go poop. Censor this editor. <gasps> he dropped big meat. I like the big meat. Okay, so it's daytime. This is absolutely terrible. Now, I see, I see your problem with food now. I can't get any. Maybe we need to go back to 
trading basics. A lot of this thing is just farming and I'm not even at the dense jungle yet. And that's even harder. To be honest, 75% of the recording was just farming. What the f- Here's a tip for you guys, when you don't have a kiln and you can't make charcoal, you can light a tree on fire. You can light a tree on fire. You have to throw a torch at a tree. Oh my god. You have to throw a torch at a tree, wait for it to burn. Are you serious? There's rain? I'm All right, now that there's no more rain, as I was saying, you can throw a torch at a tree. It will light up and burn. And then you get a burnt tree. Wow. You cut it, get free charcoal. All right, now that we have enough charcoal, we can go home and make a farm, a garden. Yes. And then we get our poop. At first, I thought the garden was like the best source of food you can get. But after playing a while, uh, I realized it's very unreliable. I mean, look at this. Look at this timer. It's huge. It's like two days. So yeah, it's not a, it's not as good. The other way you can get food is from the fishing pole with uh, you fishing. You can get fish from cutting grass, just like how you can get hemp and seed. I have eight worms. I think that that can feed me well. No. I got big fish. Yeah, this is honestly kind of dumb. I'm not even at the dense jungle, and this is harder than it is. You can get a stick. I think that's new. All right, guys, I'll be back with eight fish. See you then. Yes, eight. Okay, light a fire, and then we can cook five small fish, and we can also cook, I think, one big fish. We also got two poop. How much hemp do we have? Still three. Our goal with hemp is to get three linen, which is oh, just okay, two linen, which is six hemp. Uh, sure. We just need three more hemp. I don't want to bore you guys. I got the hemp. Oh, <gasps> that's the last hemp. Convenient and let me into light. We got six hemp. We can make linen, two linen for our shabby clothes. There we go. Two linen. Let's make our clothes. Oh god, it's unidentified. Well, uh, it can't be that bad, right? I just, I just want to get it done. Bruh. Someone in the chat asks, how do you prepare for Ruby Light 3? Oh, this is how you prepare. You get your shabby clothes because it gives coolness. Uh, you should probably upgrade your weapon because some of the monsters there are so dang tanky, okay? And you also bring a lot of food. Now, this... Hmm, Alright, where are we supposed to go? Alright, to enter the, the dense jungle, you need to first enter through the endless wasteland, I believe. Whenever you're ever low on meat, you should probably tell yourself to move because whenever you explore new, uh, new lands, it usually gives you a hell of meat. Like right now, I just got one big meat and two small meat. That's a lot. Oh my god, a rat just dropped berries. Where do you put it up? Is that? So, bro. These guys are ranged now, so dashing to close the distance is very useful. <gasps> Dance Jungle 1. Okay, we made it. Hey, let's go. Dance Jungle 1. Now, let me give you guys some big brain. 20,000 IQ tips. So the problems you're going to face in the dense jungle is, of course, heat. Look at this. I'm, I'm already hot. And uh, you might wonder why heat is so bad. Well, look at the... Oh, actually, let me get hot. It's casually chilling with a bee. Alright, now I'm hot. So why can heat be so bad? Well, in the game, it says uh, activate that uh, temperature above 30 degrees. Increase thirst, fatigue, and hunger more quickly. Hello? Hunger. Heck no, we don't want that. We want our hunger to stay as high as possible. So now you know the reason why you should stay uh, less hot in this game. Now, how can we do that? What things can we do to remain cool? Now, I got a few tips. Most of them come from the, the video that I made detailing it. But here's the first one. Try to go at night if you can. Right now, it's at night and the temperature drops drastically at night because it makes sense. There's no sun out. Traveling at night is honestly your best bet of never getting hot, I believe. Oh my god, how did you hide in that little hole? Yeah, look how much health these guys have. At least like 200, maybe. Oh, it ruins a light. There we go. Ruins a light three, yeah. So we need one mana moat, three rocks, and a tablet. We gotta remember those. And now, the next tip is do not use your torch during the day because it raises your temperature up by a lot. Yeah, a lot. The only time you should be having your uh, torch up is when it's nighttime and you're trying to weaken a shadow monster. Oh, King Lizard. 
Oh, a strange hole. Bro, there is actually so many monsters. Oh my god, a raptor. You're huge, man. Pretty tanky, too. Okay, there are three. One, two, three. That's my last piece of food. Okay, we're gonna move on to Dense Jungle 2, which will lead us into our next tip. Hide under the trees. The trees will provide you shade from the sun. I think it still works during night too, which is a little not realistic, but yeah, you can become cool, cooler by hiding under trees. I've tried with bushes, but I don't think it helps. I thought maybe bushes would shade you also, but no. Now the next tip I have is is dip in water every few every few seconds so you can stay wet. I think I think it helps. Maybe I haven't tested this enough, but I don't know. Better safe than sorry. Is that the right saying? We're literally winging it right now. I I, I brought like two pieces of food here, and I'm surviving off of just getting food from here. Holy water! Okay, next tip. Whenever you place down campfires, make sure you place it right next to a tree because the campfire makes you extremely hot. And whenever using the campfire, just stay under the tree so you can reduce the amount of heat that is from the campfire. I have no food. Please give me food. Otherwise, I'll die. Now, I don't think I'll fight the boss just yet. I'll just clear the whole dense jungle and then I'll return for a boss fight because I don't feel like I'm ready. Look at me, taking careful steps. I'm like, what the f What? What? How did that grave? How? What? You guys saw that, right? Oh my god. I didn't know you. I didn't know you could. They could do that to you. I literally dug a grave and it took my health to 1 HP. Like, hello? What? I didn't know that was a thing in the game. Oh my god. So this is where I say bye. bye. Have, Have a, a great, great time. time. Uh, someone in the chat says, What? set totem you use uh sorry buddy that's another video okay the death Triangle 3 is probably somewhere around there we just have to pass this raptor monster bud there's honestly nothing really interesting after this i found an elite rat oh my god we found it uh yeah episode five maybe click on it